Investigation time. Let's go. Let's go, investigate Load that content. Mm-hmm. December 27th, 2 11 p.m. Wright & Co. L offices. Home sweet home. Oh, but it's sad. Oh, everyone's <laughs> everyone's sad, oh no. <laughs> oh no. What was Mr. Edgeworth talking about? Flashback, flashback. A memory of a crime that I committed. A memory of murder. You know, if you're just playing this, like, regularly, then this would be like, mm -hmm. oh, I just saw this five seconds ago. But for us, I know. this is an important this is flashback. <laughs> yeah, this is nice, because <laughs> we have been away for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Do you really think Mr. Edgeworth killed? Hmm. I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Not my boyfriend. Never. <laughs> Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. But he never takes someone's life. Never. Nick, you don't think that... I was gonna say, maybe if they said something <laughs> shitty about cravats or some shit like that, but of course you have to walk in here and break the tone first, fucker! Yo! How's everyone doing? What do you think of my performance today? I had him swooning in the aisles, huh, Maya? Wooning? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I do remember feeling faint with terror. Right on. <laughs> Tell me the truth. It was like love at first sight, right? Right, Nick? Huh? Me? Uh, gay? Me? Me? Everyone in this game swings both ways. <laughs> I, uh, well, maybe my heart skipped a beat or two. In terror. <laughs> I think you could do better than that. <laughs> I, I, Larry. I also think we could do better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I saved Edgeworth in there, dude. Edgy. You guys should be bowing before me. Yeah, bow before your hero. No. Do I have to talk to him? <laughs> yeah. Today's trial. Larry, you really helped out in the trial today. I can give him that. This is the most <laughs> helpful he is in all of the cases. <laughs> you did. This is the high point of your entire existence in the Ace Attorney games. If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth would have been found guilty. As in, he was found guilty before, I think, before Edgeworth, <laughs> yeah. before Larry came in. So, <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, Nick. That boat shop caretaker guy is pretty suspicious. Pretty sus. Pretty sus. But Edgy ain't off the hook yet. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. I mean, it was already sad music before you came in, but... <laughs> hey, I'm just a guy <laughs> sitting in the audience, you know. I bring my theme music with me. It does seem that way. <laughs> but from where I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty... edgy. I don't know the name of this particular music, but it's also used for like a lot of heart and yeah. a lot of the other. I believe it's called Happy People. Annoying. Yeah, it should be called Annoying People because <laughs> I don't think it's used for anyone in the game that I like. I think I, I think <laughs> Happy is a key code word for <laughs> annoying. <laughs> it would seem so. <laughs> you know, happy. Yeah. <laughs> happy. <laughs> happy. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. I mean, can you really know he's telling the truth about that night? Hmm. Nick? I don't know. But, what I do know is, I'm going to believe in you two until the end. Us two. Edgeworth and who else? You mean me, right? Cause you meant Larry, that'd be fucking weird. Nah, he means me, right Nick? Yeah, you Larry. Not me? But, but why? Why, Larry? Why you, Larry? Why? Huh? Uh, actually, yeah, why me, Nick? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Enough with the silent treatment. Edgeworth, 
<laughs> Change the topic. Nick, why do you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? I mean, he's changed recently, true. He did, you know, kind of do something that was sketchy legality, you know, uh, being cahoots with the defense on that last case, but still, <laughs> still, that's... But when we first met him, he was kind of a jerk, don't you think? <laughs> Maya if you're into that, I'm not going to judge, but... <laughs> Maya believes that once you're a jerk, you're always a jerk, and you can never once be forgiven. Once a jerk, always a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Some crimes can never be forgiven. <laughs> Some crimes, like, being Larry Butts. No, okay. Larry, is that... Listen, I'm going to keep saying it. This is the best he ever gets, and it's all downhill from here. <laughs> all rocky downhills and banging your head against various rocks. And <laughs> on, a, on a cliff just, uh, above the Eagle and River. A cliff. <laughs> and, and then you th yeah, and then you think it's going to stop for a second, but no, then something shifts, and you're, oh, you're falling again, and it's Larry. It's Larry at the bottom of fucking rock bottom. He's <laughs> down there. Hmm. So enjoy this while it lasts, Larold. You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait. Was that when you two were classmates? Yes. In grade school. They saved me. Miles and Larry. They saved me and I'll never forget it. That's why I became a defense attorney, you know? What?! You mean it wasn't a bunch of other stuff that happened in Game 3 that also added on to this? <laughs> nope. I don't know about that yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, hey, Larry, what's he talking about? Huh? Uh, um... Uh, sorry. I kind of forgot. Uh, of course. <laughs> uh. Okay, Nick, out with it. I'm gonna hear this story today, and that's final. Okay, okay. I need backstory. I need lore. Flashback time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a long story, so hang in there. It was the very end of third grade. I was on trial. A class trial. A class trial? <laughs> the fuck is that? And you still care about this? Why? <laughs> I... <laughs> That is a good question that <laughs> kind of like Larry and Edge were feeling the same like what are you talking about? Why is this so important to you? <laughs> <laughs> you remember Larry, spring and the third grade? A kid in our class got his lunch money stolen. Lunch money. Our school was really small. Every month kids would bring in an envelope with money for some lunch from home. I see. <laughs> Sounds pretty shitty. Weird. Maybe they should pay for that instead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared, with $38 still inside. Whoa, adjusting for inflation, that's a lot today. <laughs> that's a lot. Is he paying for the whole <laughs> week? A yeah, month. It, it, it said the whole month, month, right? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember that. Also shows my memory right there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How do you remember this, Phoenix? I can't remember that when you yeah. just said it was a month worth of food. <laughs> I could see why you'd forget, though. You were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during PE class. I was coming down with a cold, so I'd skip PE that day. Phoenix's was... colds have such a sense of fate. Like, it, it is always <laughs> part of the dramatic situation whenever this guy gets sick. Yeah, he's... He, he, he's a medium. <laughs> he's not he actually getting. Have, he's not actually getting listen, cold. He, so he's he's getting no. inclinations from the from the listen, fates. I could talk about how I think that Phoenix must actually have some form of spiritual spirit medium powers based on a lot of things, but I'm not going to get into it right now. Maybe Look, later when we're wandering around not knowing what to do. I feel like I feel like the anime is on your side. I've been watching a lot of the anime. I'm on like the, really? the yeah. last episode of season two. I have to watch. That's the last. The last. God, I still need to watch it. And I gotta say, I feel like the anime is on your side with this because it really leans into Phoenix encountering spirit stuff without uh, <laughs> Maya. Without Maya, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he can use the Magatama. Well, and, they actually like, removed the Magatama from the anime for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> okay. It's really strange. But, like, he definitely I mean, I fully guess it sees. It would have been weird to just be, like, you know, 
Magatama just throw it in somebody's face, a bunch of chains and locks happen. By the way, audience, if you haven't played game two and you don't know what the fuck we're talking about, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. We'll get there. Like, we'll get there very we'll get soon, there. actually. We've yeah. got we've got this the rest of this case and one more case and then we're there. Yep. Yep. Anyway, that, you know what? There will be a good time for me to talk about it later in this case as well. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. I was the only one not in class. So they thought you did it. I mean, I guess technically Larry wasn't in class either, but well, maybe we'll get to oh, that. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, the kids in class said I should be put on trial. That is the weirdest fucking thing. Trial? A bunch of kids? <gasps> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, it was, real, it was real Lord of the Flies shit over there. <laughs> <laughs> So the next day, we held a classroom trial with me as a defendant. I, I, I didn't do it. Oh, little kid Phoenix. Guilty! He did it! Guilty! It was you! Get the money back! You're such a meanie! No one plays with him! Just admit you did it! You can't hide the truth! Tell us the truth! We're not gonna play with you anymore! Yeah, no barring my eraser! You should be allowed to relay race! We're on the library committee! Give me back my 50 cents! I loved you! Hey, did you robbed that bank the other day? Huh! <laughs> <sighs> that was like a Wendy Old Bag flashback. <laughs> it really was. Now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right. In the end, even the teacher thought I'd done it. Go over and apologize, Phoenix. Mm. I, What's on his shirt? It, that's it's like a uh, little cartoon characters. One of them's yeah. like a, a policeman that's maybe a dog with a terrible terrifying face. Yeah. And then the other one's yeah. got an even worse face. And is that like a cat in the middle? Like, uh, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a little yeah. tiny cat right, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. I, I didn't know what was happening. I was so sad. I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. You know, this would be pretty mortifying if you can imagine back in elementary school, if your entire class was like, we're going to put you on trial. You don't want to be perceived. Like, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> and then the teacher's like, ah. Yeah, the teacher's like, I'm going to go along with this. This is great. I love Fuck this. Fuck it. Anarchy. The kids run shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> I tried to apologize. I went to where the boy whose money had been stolen was sitting. That's when it happened. Objection! He shouldn't have to apologize. The only thing that belongs in a trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed, amateurs. Miles? Baby Miles! <laughs> He's so cute! Look at him. Look at He's that got little a bow tie. tie. <laughs> Aww! He's wearing a suit jacket. It's so cute. <laughs> it wasn't you who stole my money, was it? No. Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. But Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Yeah, yeah, he did it. He's the one. We don't need proof. Make him say he's sorry. Why don't you all just shut up? <laughs> okay, he's kind of cute as a kid. Like yeah, he's got the, he's got like the little you know, bandaid on his knee. Like that's just a little scamp. He's a little he's scamp. grown up at all. Like <laughs> this this guy this, this guy's at this age, Larry. <laughs> this guy is stealing pies from windowsills. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is tricking other kids to whitewash a fence. <laughs> this is always how it is. Everybody getting up and picking on one person. Just think how he feels. He said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. If only the person who did it could speak out. That'd be great. <laughs> Very well. I will replace the money myself. This class trial is over. Isn't that classic? The teacher has to pay for something in the classroom. <laughs> yep. That's how it happened. After that, the three of us were the best of friends. Wow. I had no idea. That's such a touching story. And in my head, I'm imagining you all real as really cute little kids. Yeah, I had no idea either. I mean, I, I forgot. 
I completely <laughs> forgot. It was all gone. Undercutting <laughs> the emotional content completely, Larry. <laughs> That's when I learned what it meant to be alone. Totally alone, without a friend in the world. You did a good thing, Larry. For once. I'm amazed. Uh, yeah, well... I was just lucky that I took the day off from school. If I'd been there, they would have thought I'd done it. Hmm. Hmm. So I took it kind of personally, see? When something smells, it's usually the butts. Oh, let, let that linger for a bit. <laughs> like right. the smell of the butts. <laughs> After the trial. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba. Just anyway, old Maya theme music. Edgeworth and I talked after that class trial. That's when I heard his father was a defense attorney. I remember his eyes would shine when he talked about his father. I'm going to become a defense attorney, just like my father. A famous defense attorney. Then, a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. The DL6 incident. Right. I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. This is all explained in the anime now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, they made some anime original episodes where they go over this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've seen clips from those. God, I see, we have the anime. I need to watch the anime. <laughs> I need good. to remember that it exists. For what I've, our, like, <laughs> we, weirdly enough, I've, I've heard that the dub is better than the sub. Huh. I don't, I don't know, know which one we have. Why? But, but I, I've just been watching the dub uh, anyways, because I like to eat. Well, when did it come out? I think it, like... Oh, it's... it was a while ago. I think the second season yeah. came out in 2016, and that was, like, a couple of years after the first oh, season. Oh, okay. Well, that's not as... Hmm. So, like, the, I think then the first season sure. maybe was yeah. 2012. Well, that's there. that's later than I would expect, to for that, then, because, like, it def... Well, hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'd have to consult some... Of, oh, shit, I just bounced my mic everywhere <laughs> yeah i i would have to uh consult some of my friends that know more about the anime dub sub stuff like like ren would know mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. about why that might be but anyway any hoodle yeah uh yeah i read this i had to watch <laughs> that's so sad mm. it was several years later when i heard edward's name again there's an article about him in the newspaper the headline was something like, Dark Suspicions of a Demon Attorney. That was the headline? <laughs> Who was writing the fucking headline? It was the New York Post. <laughs> <laughs> it Fabricating evidence. <laughs> manipulating testimonies. Covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. But why? What happened? I mean, what that's, happened? What happened? <laughs> I mean, that's not the edgy I used to know at all. That's what I thought, too. I tried to get in touch with him, I don't know how many times. He never replied. Left you on red, huh? <laughs> I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. I couldn't just drop it, though. I wanted to meet him, to learn why he'd become who he'd become. That's when I decided. mean that's why that's why you became a defense attorney to meet edgeworth <laughs> holy shit it was pretty gay that right is, <laughs> it's incredibly gay you win first prize at being gay if i was a defense attorney i knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not i do prefer In this court. as I prefer this as Phoenix's reason for becoming a defense attorney because they add more reasons onto it later and I'm just like, nah, leave it as this. This is way funnier to like go all the way through law school, <laughs> pass the bar and get a degree just because the guy that you like and you're a little bit concerned about won't talk to you otherwise. <laughs> like, holy shit, I love it. I, I will <laughs> so say, gay. I do also like the fact, the idea that, yeah, he's going through law school and he's a little bit of a fuck up but because because of events later no i'm gonna be serious now yeah <laughs> that is also I, funny but this I is very funny. funny well yeah because the other one in the other uh like 
or the extra explanation to this. He's already he's in law school, student. but he's yeah. just like he's more like serious law now. As like a side gig, you know? <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna be an artist. Law is a side gig. It's like, <laughs> do law, you understand things, Phoenix? Like, law is how I pay the bills. Art is my true passion. <laughs> yep. And then he decided now Edgeworth is my true passion. Never mind. As I've never seen Phoenix draw anything. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's... Dude, okay, new headcanon, because we've got the court record, right? And it's got, like, pictures of everything in it, like, all the evidence. Mm -hmm. It's just photorealistic. Every time Phoenix encounters something, just photorealistic, quick sketches it, puts it in the court <laughs> record. That's Fe that's what that <laughs> Phoenix is the one is. doing the courtroom sketches. Exactly. <laughs> or like, you know, when it's Polly the parrot is in like the court record yeah, for yeah. some reason, you know? It's just a it's picture he drew. drew. a perfect picture of Polly that everyone's like, oh yeah, we recognize that immediately. <laughs> in court. <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth believed in me and I believed in him. He's in pain and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. <laughs> I can Nick, fix him. Nick, I... Wow, okay. You're really gay and I'm rooting for you. Um, <laughs> you haven't seen him in a really long time. Are you sure you're the only one who knows the real Edgeworth? Like, that maybe people that he knows within the past decade, like, you're, no. you're sure they don't know him better? Okay. No, nobody knows okay. him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> No, nobody knows him. Nobody, nobody at all. There's not a, there's not a single uh, adopted uh -huh. sibling who might know him. Yep, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nobody he works with. Uh, there's not, not a detective on the force that would might know him. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. No, nope. nobody knows him like you, Nick. Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> I'm the cool. only one. You know, I ship this hard enough that I'm just going to agree with you for now, but we're going to talk later about how some things are unhealthy. <laughs> Whoa, Nick, what about me? I knew him back then, too. Shut up, Larry. <laughs> so, so is this why you helped me out for free? Uh, yeah. I helped you because I believed in you. I was hoping for money. But, but let's sure <laughs> pro bono let's just yeah why not <laughs> pro bono yeah i guess it was i guess yeah i was paying you back for except i don't remember <laughs> saying i'd do it for Thank free you, game. <laughs> thanks game <laughs> oh man oh nick 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 everyone's saying my name nick <laughs> we have to save mr edgeworth if it's the last thing we do okay nick nick <laughs> we can't bury the gays here Cannot. We gotta do this. Right. It very may well be. What? Are, you, are they gonna kill you? If you lose your defense attorney license, are they going to kill you? <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. If you're disbarred, you die immediately. It's tied to your life force. <laughs> First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. That's a, that's a mouthful. It is. It's too much. We need to find out who or what he is. So that we don't have to say that what whole thing. What if? <laughs> what if he's Gordy? <gasps> uh, <laughs> it's I, just like Maya. Maya, please. Okay, okay. What if? What if he's the Steel Samurai? Maya. Maya, we met the Steel Samurai. <laughs> oh, you're right. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with more ideas. <laughs> All right, you keep working on that. I'll get to work on actually solving who he is. Okay. <laughs> What if he's red white? <laughs> <laughs> mm, how'd you figure it out? No! <laughs> Panic! <laughs> I'd settle for who. I don't care what he is. <laughs> I just want to know who. You can respect uh, that. I guess I can clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. Let me just throw it all away. Mm. Yeet it out the window. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've successfully destroyed all the evidence. Just to a trash fire. <laughs> <laughs> I love destroying evidence. I love destroying evidence. I love destroying evidence. All right. All righty. Hey, Edgy. Edgy. December 27th. Edgy That's a visitor, visitor's room. Hmm. You look as grim as always. I'm brooding. <laughs> 
Um, Mr. Edgeworth? I heard the story about the class trial. The what? (laughs) 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 It's just like, with no no context, how are you going to remember that immediately? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Class trial? What do you mean? (laughs) Context, Maya, please. What the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) You, you can't just start, start a sentence like that. You gotta get context. Yeah. <laughs> Going to need more information than that. You don't remember? But, My words didn't immediately spark a flashbulb memory for you? But Phoenix remembers it so clearly. <laughs> Uh-oh. This might break some hearts. I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In third grade? Lunch money? <laughs> What? Oh, oh, right. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. We just paid for it immediately afterwards. We we had a lot of money for being attorneys. <laughs> yes. The teacher offered to pay. I, I told her that was silly. <laughs> Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers. Actually, the teacher remembers. <laughs> yeah, the teacher wakes up haunted by that. <gasps> who actually stole the money? <laughs> Just, just <laughs> it lying in bed and just suddenly, <gasps> cold sweat, just like <laughs> the mystery like person, shadowed figure. In her She's mind. like, that's her DL six. I've ruled like, out. I've ruled out all the possibilities. It was the Babadook. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a murder board like with all the students on it. <laughs> well, it probably only really mattered to me, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> real. True and real. <laughs> True and real. And sad. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? This is gonna be funny. <laughs> that trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. <laughs> what? You, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that expression says it all. Ridiculous. That you... Gee, thanks. <laughs> I know you're kidding. <laughs> that said... It does sound like the kind of thing you do. I'm stubborn and foolhardy. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. Ah, so you admit that there's good sides to it. (sighs) I suppose the wording did suggest that. (laughs) Well, yeah, maybe, yeah, but, um, you know, I think you changed too much, Edwards. How about that? I'm going to do the same with my eyebrows again. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps. Sad eyebrows. Why prosecute? Hey, Edgeworth. Why did you become a prosecutor anyways? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? Actually, I want you to defend innocent people. (laughs) You want me to defend criminals? (laughs) Those are the only people that end up on the stand. I'm sorry, Wright, but I'm not that good of a person. I'm a bad boy. (laughs) One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes, the man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Yanni Yogi. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> it's too easy. It's just, it's there. It's just right there. <laughs> he had to be the shooter any way you look at it. He took all those picnic baskets. <laughs> and he stole our lunch. <laughs> Yet, so, wait, he was he the was one? found innocent. That defense attorney got him off the hook. Yeah, Yanni Yogi yeah. was the one that stole the lunch money. Because <laughs> they wanted to get some picnic biscuits. Uh, oh, hey. no. <laughs> that would be Robert Hammond. No, Yanni Yogi, Yogi Bear. For ta- On that day, 15 years ago, the three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen deprivation. Which does crazy things to you, apparently. Apparently. The elevator was airtight. I had lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? 
Yes, they need to get OSHA in there and make sure those elevators are not airtight. <laughs> Even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Yogi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yanni Yogi had not been of sound mind due to the oxygen deprivation. I mean, that sounds right. So... Yogi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. Well, that's a different thing entirely. <laughs> One would think, wouldn't they? <laughs> uh, ple pleading, uh, like, insanity versus ple pleading lack of evidence. <laughs> that's entirely different things. <laughs> and yet... <laughs> so that's when I changed my mind. <laughs> I think you can understand... I started to hate defense attorneys. What do I mean? Put like put mm. smiles and like puts his fingers into his uh, yeah. cheeks to make him <laughs> smile even more. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. Hold on to that thought. Okay. <laughs> I learned everything I know of courtroom techniques from him. Well, then you probably should scratch the first sentence you said. What? <laughs> <laughs> not, not a good so man. So he's like my sister was to you, Nick. That's so oh. true. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life. Is Von Karma just like the perfect husband like is that the <laughs> suggestion there like just like obsessively looking up how to be a good romantic partner we know he's a dad too like <laughs> i would not call him a perfect father from what we've seen of franzi <laughs> later like <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah he is obsessed with doing everything perfectly perfectly huh in all the cases he has taken on None were left unsolved. And not one suspect was declared innocent. Ever. But... But that's... Fucking awful! I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does is his job to find the suspect guilty perfectly. In any case, it's nigh well impossible to find a weakness in him. Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. That's an oddly specific turn of phrase. I suppose it is. I just <laughs> felt compelled to say it that way. <laughs> um, Edgeworth? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 does, what does everything entail, Edgeworth? <laughs> Does that include murder, Edgeworth? <laughs> <laughs> if what you're saying is true, you're headed for a guilty sentence tomorrow. He is right! Now's no time to praise the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth! Mm. It's a strange situation in which I find myself, I'll admit. No kidding. Oh, that's it. Okay, See ya! Do we have anything to present to him before we leave? What do we have? What do we what do we get rid of? <laughs> uh I don't know. Hey, look at your dad. A bunch of random shit. <laughs> Nick, no! <gasps> That's a photo of his father! <gasps> don't show him that! You're right. That probably isn't a good time to judge up those memories. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> um nothing. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Okay, um... Wait, what do you know about parrots, Edgeworth? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not sure I can help you with that. More of a cat person, really. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, the DL6 incident might come up. I don't know. Maybe that would... Or... Do, we already showed yeah, here Misty, we go. I think. Yeah. yeah, okay, here's something, yeah. It was that case that changed my life. And tomorrow, on December 28th, its statute of limitations runs out. That's convenient. Isn't it just? I say convenient, but it's actually specifically planned, but we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. 
No, it's a coincidence. Oh, yeah, Phoenix. yeah. Uh, tomorrow, could that See? be a coincidence? Mm. See? Coincidence. Crazy random happenstance. But even if the case is finally closed on paper, it will never be erased from my memory. Never. Not like the classroom trial. <sighs> right? In one of those, my lunch money was stolen. In the other one, my father died. Which do you think I'm going to remember better? I'm just saying. I you remember You know what? It. Don't answer that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Poor Mr. Edgeworth. He has to deal with you, Nick, and your <laughs> lack of tact. <laughs> Anyways, want to show him his father again? No. Nick! <laughs> December 48th, or 7th. Sorry, police department, criminal affairs. Time traveling, getting ahead of ourselves. Criminal affairs. Criminal. Criminal. Hmm, looks like Detective Gumshoe hasn't gotten back yet from wherever. Gumshoe? He won't be coming back today. Uh, I oh. like that every policeman really? is from the Bronx. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> he said there was some guy he had to arrest by tomorrow. The Gumshoe's from the Bronx. <laughs> this random police guy's from the Bronx. I think the commissioner... We all transferred here from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> the boat shop caretaker. He shot it. something about catching him if it's the last thing I do, pal. <laughs> All right. Go get him, Gumshoe. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is why Phoenix works as a character. Like, you never see him, but so often he just does say things or think things that I think are not, they're not obvious, but they are like exactly what a person would say or think in that situation. Yeah. It's not like an overstated, like, every man kind of thing. It just happens to be, like, the sentiment that I, everyone expresses. It's very uncanny. Yeah, for the, for the most part, Phoenix Wright really plays the plays the role of the main character, of like, of, like, the player. Like, yeah. he's really the audience surrogate in a lot of ways. Yeah. He's, like, he does the silent protagonist thing without being silent and somehow still encompasses all of that, like you know, empathetic energy from the audience, that, like, sense of, yeah, this this could be me. Sort and of yet thing. he also still has his own character, because he still has little quirks, like the the, the riding a bicycle everywhere, instead yeah, of because totally, he doesn't yeah. have a driver's license. Yeah. But, he, but he's still, like... character. Yeah, it's, it's really actually, <laughs> like, a, t a tightrope thing you're, you're yeah. kind of walking yeah, and there. Then, and is he... Is he afraid of heights? He might be afraid he of heights. Is. Yeah, he is afraid of heights. Yeah, he he's afraid is. of heights. Edward's afraid of elevators and earthquakes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, December Everyone's 27th. Everyone's got their own little phobias. Everyone's got a phobia in this game. Uh, December 27th, Gord Lake Park entrance. Hey, hey, he <laughs> hey, pal. Long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Yay! You're not Larry or Lana. <laughs> <laughs> Close one today, eh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. I had to get a new one. I'm imagining you just sewed it back together. There's just like a terrible stitch across the middle of it. <laughs> you can't see it because of the text box, but it's there. Ah, oh, yeah. Tactful text box. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. You know what? Actually, Gumshoe probably has to repair a lot of clothes considering that he gets paid fucking nothing. I bet he's actually quite a good sewist. Yeah, I mean... He, everyone says that his coat is ratty, so it's probably got yeah. a bunch of patch marks on it. Yeah, I, I reckon so. Yeah. No problem, pal. That shit. Thanks to you, we know we now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Sure, him. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by my trial tomorrow. And tomorrow, come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now I'm off to catch me a criminal. Dum -dum 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 -dum. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Look at him <laughs> jogging. Oh, one other thing. <laughs> Jogs back. <laughs> yeah! No one can go into the woods today. The woods? The woods? <laughs> the woods. The woods. To the woods. <laughs> Do not know. We're not going to start singing any part of Into the Woods. No, I'm, te I'm teleporting banned. them to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I Sorry, my brain just went to Into the Woods stuff, and I was like, no, see, we're see, not. I, we're I not. immediately went to that, that Control-Alt-Delete edited version of the... <laughs> mm. Why did you Blender explode? 
<laughs> Anyways. That's a much better place for the brain to go. It is. It's such... Into the Woods is... It's fine. It's okay. I've I, never seen it. I don't... I'm uh, not a huge movie is Disney pretty, person. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel I, like, I, I I feel like you good. don't get a whole lot out of it if you're not a good... If you're not a big Disney person, you know? Yeah. There's some good stuff in it. The movie's fine. I remember seeing... Actually, they did a teen theater performance of that in a, in my hometown. Mm. And that was actually hilarious because it's exactly the right kind of content, in my opinion, for like teen theater. But, <laughs> you know, the, the movie, I don't think... It, it has James Corden in it, so I don't want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the for, okay, fair enough. I, it has a lot of people in it. I mean, it's I'm always true. interested to know what the deal breaker is. <laughs> I I cannot stand James Corden. I cannot stand him. <laughs> he sucks so bad. I will say the best scene from it. I think is there's like this incredibly melodramatic scene between like the two prince characters where there's like seeing about the agony of their existence and they're just like one of them is like Chris Pine I don't even remember who the other one is but they're literally like on a waterfall becoming increasingly less clad in clothing as like they tear <laughs> open their shirts and stuff like that singing about like the agony of their existence it is such good over the top humor and it's legitimately the only thing I remember with fondness from that movie <laughs> Oh, you just boy. look up that scene. James Gordon's not in that one. You'll be oh, fine. Perfect. Um, yeah, he's not one of the princes. He's the baker. I think that's right. I don't that sounds yeah. right. Anyway. We're anyway, Lada we're not going camping? into the woods specifically. No, not. no Lada. Thank God. Yeah. Thank fucking Christ. The woods are off limit to camping. Apparently, the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad. No one could go in for a while. I guess Lada's in a lot of trouble. I wish I oh. could see that. In the anime, they gave Lada like a catchphrase, which is that she wants a whole lot of dala. Oh my god. Why they needed that in this too. Yeah. Because in this they just do like layers like reckon course and ret given. <laughs> I think those are two of her lines later, which is like reckon that's a given and uh, reckon of course. It's like yeah, in the in the I'm anime, she keeps talking about from the south. <laughs> yeah, she just keeps talking about how she wants a whole lot of dollar. You know what? That fits her character quite nicely. <laughs> anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Gord Lake Public Beach. December 27th, Gord Lake Public Beach. The flags are gone. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore? <laughs> Looks like the hot Pokemon? dog stand is closed, too. <laughs> well, yeah, Larry's at our place. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Larry's just kicking back at the law offices. I guess Larry's too busy worrying about Mr. Edgeworth to show up for work. What is the blue yeah. thing on the hot dog here? Uh, we talked about that last time. I don't know. I think we said maybe it's relish. Oh, yeah, yeah. That sounds familiar. Or is that supposed to be like the lake in the background? Is it, no. Is it actually a maybe. hot dog or is it just like a bun that we're calling a hot dog for the dub or the localization? Dude, I'm not sure. It's <laughs> it's a brown figure eight with a yellow figure eight, a twisty pink bit, some red <laughs> dots and blue on the top. You tell me what that is. Mm, uh, a bunch of pixels that were upscaled poorly yes <laughs> correct <laughs> like most of this like game a weird mutant pizza honestly <laughs> all, right. all right they did um change like some of the art away from like the pixel art of the original games which i'm kind of fond of the pixelness but i, I respect the decision Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Although the pixels might have held up better than whatever that fucking says. The <laughs> Sigrud. Yeah, bi big, big ass kitties. Big ass kitties. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> December 27th, okay. the boat rental shop. That old caretaker got away. Yep. Anyways, let's, let's head home. <laughs> I never imagined he might be the real murderer. I don't know why I didn't imagine that. Like... He's kind of one of the only people it could be, if it's not Edgeworth. <laughs> huh. Oh, fucking Ooh. really? Okay. It's Grossberg. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that, that's how he comes in. That's how he announces himself. Is That's right, yeah. 
I know that clearing a throat anywhere. What are you doing here? That's a what the f <laughs> It's weird to see you with a different background, Mr. Grossberg. <laughs> uh -huh. Hello. What might you be doing here? Kind of thought you carried that backdrop around with you as part of your fashion. <laughs> it has my favorite painting in it. Well, not anymore, but. <laughs> well, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Out for a walk, hmm? Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? Mr. Grossberg. This is no time for idle reminiscing. What the fuck are you doing here? Mr. Edward's trial ends tomorrow. Uh, th that is true, yes. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edward should be fine, right? Well, not so sure about that. Were you paying attention? Oh, 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 what do you mean by that? Are you senile? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Can we Bye. find things out by going to your office? Okay. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> what do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? Who knows? T telling us to go to his office? I think he's just here for plot, Nick. <laughs> anyway. I think we can we go in? Oh, we can go in. You know what that means. To the prime, boat prime time. Shack. prime time cri prime time crime time. December 27th, Caretaker Shack. Which is a little old place where we can get together. <laughs> hmm. Nobody's home. Fuck yeah. Hello! Hello! Okay, one person's home. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's Polly! Fuck yeah! It's a bird. I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. We need to arrest his ass. Hello! Hello! I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. Well, there's like food on the table. That is not parrot food, Nick. <laughs> Birds have a very rigorous diet that doesn't involve... What is that? <laughs> Looks like fried... Something Wait, that... with... It's got a seaweed yeah, wrapper on like... it. <laughs> it. It could be like the, the little... Like the, 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 the fried version of the rice cakes. Yeah. That's all I can think of. And then there were some like... Of the like Asian pears, pear apples, but yeah, behind my like at least behind my yeah. <laughs> anyway. Hello, hello. Ah! Oh, and a so, can of soda. Good. The people at home are not going to know this, but it's very funny that Discord is just chewing up the parrot's audio, <laughs> just absolutely is devouring it. it. Yeah, yeah. It just it's like that's not words. <laughs> nope. <Just> walking <laughs> too, too high pitched <laughs> for me. Thank you. Get out of here. <laughs> No oh, man, that's gonna be interesting. I hope that it's. Let me look at my recordings. That, it should be on the recording. That hasn't been peeking out anything. Eh, yeah, I don't think it. Nah, that'll be okay. That'll be fine. Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. We're just gonna take the bird. We're gonna steal his yeah. bird. Yeah. <laughs> you probably shouldn't just kidnap her. But what if I did? The police know about her anyway. I'm sure they'll do something. Maybe. They'll probably they shoot her, really. Do take care of a parrot? <laughs> Nick, no! Do not even say that! Hey, that is the police. <laughs> okay. I mean... Yeah. At least it's not the That's ATF. Why could take her, though. <laughs> if it was the ATF, that bird would already be dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, uh, mm, yeah. Legitimately, though, like, this bird needs help. Parrots need a lot of care. Sorry, Polly. He says I can't take you. Guess your blood's on his hands. Great. Now the bird's gonna hate me. Not, not my fault, Nick. <laughs> hmm. Everything's cold. Looks like he didn't turn his heater on. I guess he hasn't been back here since the trial. Hmm. I mean, I, yeah, I guess a Kotatsu would also keep food on it warm. That's interesting. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> yeah, neither did I. Go figure. That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. What about it? <laughs> Get there faster, Nick. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Rah! What's some, what's some random numbers? Yeah. Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I'm sure there isn't any money in here. 
I do crime for crime's sake, Nick. But I would like money. <laughs> but hey! He keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. Uh, something I'm not we can so sell? Sure. You know, with the right kind of fence? We, we, could, we could make something. <laughs> do you think Detective Gumshoe would be a good, a good fence? <laughs> Look, I don't know anyone who's not in law enforcement, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I feel like he would manage it, but it would be completely on accident. Like, <laughs> you, you just like, hey, it. Now, by the way, my friend's looking to make some money. Uh, I don't suppose you want to buy this sort of thing. And it's like, ooh, yes, I'd like to buy that very much. Hey, thanks. What a good friend that guy is. Yeah, you don't, you just don't even tell him it's stolen goods. Yeah. You just you just give yeah. it to him and say, hey, can you sell this for me? Yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, no, yeah, you sure. Got it, pal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nick. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> uh, I guess there might be a clue or two. Uh, the only thing in here is a letter. A letter? Ah, boring. Hmm. There's no name or signature on this thing. It's Hate handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Perfect, you might even say. One might even say. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth! My boyfriend! N Nick! Why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? How oh, should shit. I know? I'm gonna read the whole thing. <laughs> Wasn't going to before. <laughs> Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It also says this. Or it also says, This is your last chance. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. It's a lot of exclamation marks. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. And it's got a perfect amount of exclamation points. <laughs> what is the perfect number of exclamation points? <laughs> that many. <laughs> okay. How, however many right you, you need are. to get people to click on a YouTube video. That's my there opinion. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this episode's going to just be titled All Exclamation Marks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be three exclamation points. That's the title. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. How to Kill Robert Hammond and Frame Edgeworth. Calling Edward out to the lake, getting on the boat, firing twice. This is exactly what I figured out today at court. It's all here, in perfect detail. Perfect detail. He's saying it now. Yes. Mm. Yes. What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know. But it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. But who could have written that letter? Well, whoever it is, I think we should show it to them as soon as we run into them. Yeah, definitely, just to confirm. And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? I mean, he's Look. pissed off a lot of people, but... <laughs> Look, I don't know, okay? Come on. <laughs> One thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue, and we should take very good care of it. Absolutely. Also, you didn't want to do crime. Just gonna point that out. There's nothing left in the safe. I wonder why the caretaker didn't take the letter with him. He left in a hurry, right? I don't think he even came back here after the trial. Ah! What's wrong? Huh? Oh, th never mind. What? Tell me. Just when I saw the TV, I remembered. They're showing a Pink Princess special this week. Uh... Oh. See? That's why I didn't want to tell you! <laughs> oh, God. Doesn't look like he used this kitchen much. How did he make these, then? How did he make noodles. these? I don't know. You're right. I guess the whole pasta restaurant thing was a lie. What, you thought he was telling the truth? Well, you know, like, maybe a little bit of truth. Say, Nick! Don't people usually put pictures of the fish up on the wall to boast about them? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You mean pictures of the fish they caught, right? Right! But don't all the fish on the wall here look really puny to you? Well, you know what they say. You should have seen the one that got away! Except the one that got away from us is the caretaker, and we did see him. 
Why do I feel like we're having two different conversations here? <laughs> we might be having two different conversations. <laughs> okay. Uh, can't look at specifically the bird shit. <laughs> yeah. I think I think some of that's feathers. It looks like some of those feathers that have fallen off. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, Not taking good okay. care of his uh of his bird. Mm, no. Poor bird owner. Okay. Gord Big Lake. Ass kitties. Public beach. Gord Lake. Gord Lake. Entrance, Entrance. place. Right and co. Law offices. One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Why well, you gotta remind me? One day left! Well, no time to waste! Let's get going! Okay. <laughs> uh, well, we found a thing. Should we go talk to the uh, grossest of bergs? He is the grossest of bergs. But Just that so bear and that fish, man. Mm hmm. December 27th. Still there. Beautiful. Grossberg Law Offices. He's out again. When does he work anyway? I think he has other people work for him. Now, now. Don't be harsh. I guess we'll have to come back later. Oh my god, he said to come here if we found anything! Jesus Christ. Hey. Okay, uh... Edgeworth. Check what's, this out. What's the deal with this? <laughs> Edgeworth. See this letter? Hmm? This came out of the safe in the shack where that boat rental caretaker lives. We gotta get a name for him. <laughs> we really do. I see. <laughs> Revenge? On me? Who is that old guy anyway? Who can it be I, now? I don't know. <laughs> Could he be an innocent defendant you got declared guilty or something? Nice, right. But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. Hey, I'm just throwing out possibilities here. <sighs> so he was following this letter then? Which means there was someone else behind it. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men? Meaning myself and Robert Hammond? It also says, this is your last chance. Last La chance? Wait. Maybe. Maybe he's talking about the statute of limitations of the DL6 incident. Hmm. Wait. Wait, that old man. W what is it? Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? I don't know, Boo Boo. Why don't we ask him? Phoenix. <laughs> Yogi? The suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. Okay, now we should have... Yes, we do. Yay! New dialogue. <laughs> Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. And then the music immediately disappears. It's gone. <laughs> Hatsu was like, oh shit, I gotta pay attention to this part. <laughs> we just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. That airtight elevator. It's the problem with the fucking wow. wow. ah. The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. It's a funny turn of phrase. <laughs> <laughs> uh... uh... Which what, one what is, is I don't know. I think it's Yanni, I guess but that's I, probably, what, what that's does he probably sound Yanni. like before he's old caretaker uh, guy? I don't know. Um, Help! I can't breathe! Yeah, something like that. Yeah, he's fucking uh, Barney Fife. Okay, that, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, uh, and that's Gregory Edgeworth, who I have listed as you doing Gregory. Oh, quiet. I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out! Help! Get us out! Don't shout. You'll just use up more oxygen. Gasp. 
That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. In court, Yaniyogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the, oxy the oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed, in the, passed the court and Yogi was found innocent. What happened to the lack of evidence thing? That was also part of it. <laughs> it's not entire. This is why I became a prosecuting attorney, because defense attorneys don't understand evidence. <laughs> huh. But isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? <sighs> right. Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I... I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. Okay, well now this time we don't need yeah. this flashback. Yeah, we <laughs> literally saw this earlier today. Yeah. Come See, on. I, I told I told you last time we saw this flashback. I told you that would be our exact reaction if, the, we, if yep. this had been. <laughs> 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 so true. A crime you committed. A memory of a murder. murder. Well, thanks for the memories. <laughs> thanks for the memories. Yeah. I think. I think the time has come to tell all. <laughs> you to write a the book? The Nightmare! <laughs> yes, I've been working on my memoir. For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. That it, sucks! You, for yeah, 15 you, years? For like, 15 years? <laughs> Jesus Christ! So, uh, what, what's the dream? Did you, did you walk into court without your cravat? That's a separate nightmare. It sometimes <laughs> happens, sometimes doesn't. <laughs> what kind of dream? Was it no ramen? <laughs> we have very different dreams. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream about my father's killing. In the dark. Help! I can't breathe! Quiet. I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out. Help! Get us out! Don't shout. You'll just use up more oxygen. I How say again. How many see this scene? I know. <laughs> I, I can't breathe. You. You're using up all my air. What? Stop breathing my air. I'll, I'll stop you. Ah. Uh, what? What are you? Stop breathing my air! <laughs> no! Father! He's attacking Father! Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In days, I pick up the pistol. Get away! Get away from my father! Bang! <laughs> Just from somewhere, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone chilling scream. Okay, so probably not like what I just did. <laughs> a scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. Maybe it'll give me another chance. <laughs> not, no. not that. <laughs> I, I don't think we'll ever see that cutscene ever again. I don't think we'll ever see that cutscene ever again. But, but, but I want to see it again. But that's just a dream, right? Right? Uh, that thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? 
They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, Edgeworth. You... You mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I don't know. I don't think there is anything we can do. Like it or not. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe. <gasps> there is Nick! And maybe... Maybe he's back in his fucking office! There is someone else who knows about DL6! Well, is there somebody who knows about DL6? There's somebody who knows about DL6. Is there somebody who knows about DL6? I think he better fucking be there. I swear to my sister in heaven, <laughs> gonna punch the shit out of him if I find him not here. <laughs> oh, great heavenly sister who art in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> December 27th, Grossberg Law. Definitely in heaven. Finally, okay. Mr. Grossberg. Oh, hello there. What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding. I can't believe you're not. Why, my, my. Just calm down and tell me what happened, hmm? But I want to punch you so bad. It, it's Mr. Edgeworth. He. He. I see. More of a whimper than a sob, but whatever. <laughs> so Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father. That was a hard line for some reason. <laughs> yep, he dreamed that. <laughs> it's only a dream. Only a dream. Hmm. I wonder. No, don't wonder. What? If that's the case, then why don't you two look so troubled, hmm? Well... Also, consider this. Yogi quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep, he'd want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise that Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream. It was real. As you imagined. Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father, the pistol fired, and the deed was done. Mm. No! Who cares? Apparently the fucking court system. <laughs> Don't believe it. Yogi was suspected of murder, and his career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrapped. Thus he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This was his last chance, of course, with the statute of limitations so close. I mean not really. Like, if this was if you were trying to get him on the murder of like Robert Hammond. That's yeah, he could have done that any time. Case. Like, yeah. <laughs> Literally whenever. Yep. What do you know about Edward's father? Mm. He was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true, Mr. Trite. Whoa, flash forward. <laughs> well, he may have had one peer now that I think about it. Your mentor, Mia Fey. But we'll get to that later. And we're not going to talk about the other other peer that some people might say is on you know what i never mind <laughs> my sister no we're not gonna talk about him we already said trite we're done we're done we're not gonna talk about that fucker. <laughs> gregory edgeworth was very disapproving of mr von Carmen's technique that's no surprise von Carmen is a very extreme man forged testimonies and evidence are nothing to him People just know about this and they're like, it's like, whatever, I, he can continue. Yeah, because like, he's perfect. Yeah, I, I guess internal affairs has never even, like, glanced in his direction. I. The result? He has a perfect win record in court. We don't ever investigate any of this crap. We just know it Fair. and we let it happen. Jesus Christ. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. Hey. In the courtroom, no less. 
a hero. And? He lost. The fuck? And died in despair, as it were. I think he died in an elevator. <laughs> but I see. It's <laughs> <laughs> the stupidest joke I've made in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh. Sometimes it hits you just right, yep. you know? <laughs> Sometimes you nail like that that's like I think of it as like um airplane humor like you know the movie Airplane where mm -hmm, like you mm -hmm. know like that like I am serious and don't call me Shirley. It's that kind of humor and sometimes it just oh it just perfectly scratches that itch. Yeah. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on a spirit medium. Can you uh, can you believe it? <laughs> so spirit medium? What? No. <laughs> that was your mother, Mr. Fay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fay. <laughs> Mr. Fay. <laughs> Mr. Fay. Ah. I, I said Mr. Fay. He's just senile at this point. <laughs> Uh, I guess this, okay. Uh, this is Gregory, Gregory Edwards, Edgeworth talking speaking through, through Misty, Misty Fay. Yeah. But, but we have determined that physicality changes with the uh, Kurine channeling technique. And we, we, so. did decide, we did decide that the, the mm -hmm. vo vocal cords also shift. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if the boobs change, That's the so vocal true. cords change. <laughs> I'm Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. I assume. Oh, I forgot to mention that part. Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> Wait, no, shit, Misty. I need to, I need to, oh, fuck. Well, it'll probably be fine. <laughs> Yet Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. Never to return. Everyone called her a fraud. This case is just fucked for a lot of us, man. <laughs> and Phoenix is just here like, man, I'm sure glad I'm not involved in any of this. Man, <laughs> That's right. Everyone thought she was, you see. Including me. <laughs> I thought she was a liar. <laughs> I thought she was nutty as a fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Yet now that I think about it, it seems the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Because we all know spirit channeling's actually real now. We've we proven it on that, record. Yes. <laughs> Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. <laughs> I literally don't believe it. Yeah, Phoenix is just like here like, no, I disagree. So you're saying he falsified his testimony. That's Edgeworth, that Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son. It's only a possibility, mind you. <laughs> but a possibility nonetheless. Good vocalizations. It fit quite. I, quite nice. I actually really like the the Grossberg voice. It's, I, it's fun. It's, it fits very well. <laughs> I know he says a hem whenever he shows up. I would also accept just a. <laughs> I I do like doing the. Oh, yes, that is also a good time. Okay. Um. Oh wait 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 wait. Before we no go back go back because. Um. Yeah, we should see if we can present anything to him before we Look at this. before he disappears into the oblivion. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, oh, so this is the letter. It does seem that Yogi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. To the letter. <laughs> but, <laughs> but why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney, but he defended clients not for their sake but for his own. I don't know why I hired him. Also. What does that mean? <laughs> huh? His own sake? That's true. He was part of this law firm, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's part of this law firm. For firm firm? Firm. Firm form? Firm form. This firm, law firm. This law firm. <laughs> Captain, we're we're detecting readings of law firms. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the planet below, I'm detecting law firms. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Spock, have you gained a different vocal affect. <laughs> Is this joke gonna play at all with the audience? 
Who knows? There's only one way to find out. Put, <laughs> yep. put down in the comments if this was a good joke or a bad joke. <laughs> and if you put down that it was a bad joke, I'm banning I'll you. Understand. <laughs> Okay, Ian will ban you, but I'll understand. It. No, uh, make make the algorithm go ding 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 ding. Yes, make the algorithm go burr. Burr. Uh, uh, uh. It's make Sans it Sans Undertale. Undertale. <laughs> he never trusted his clients. That one. The one thing he trusted was own ability. But he got his client found innocent. So why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> he won that innocence verdict, but for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. So I have like, I remember reading something about this after at some point after um, the first time that I played through this or read a play or saw a playthrough of it, and apparently like this is a bit more on like the um, Japan cultural side of things mm. that like the insanity plea in Japan has historically like socially like destroyed people like it, it's the mm. sort of thing where that like is r like bad to the point of like ruining a person's life I guess if it goes and goes through the court um, that makes yeah. sense so, with what so I know about the ja yeah. with, about Japan culturally like you look, you look at how they treat uh, like weed convictions versus Oh, I don't know. Having a giant, massive pile of child porn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, yeah, it, it's apparently the sort of thing where like, um, it, and it's not explained well in this, but it's just the idea that like Hammond was reaching for anything that he could use to get an innocent verdict. And he picked something that ruined his client's life. Yeah. So innocent, but absolutely fucked up for everyone but him. Yeah, like yeah. If you if you like if you like look into the way that uh, Japan Japanese society will treat uh, people who are um, convicted of various uh, things that should not really carry the stigma that they do. Like uh, if you look at you look at drug charges, you look at uh, being part of a cult. Like even like if you're previously part mm -hmm. of a cult, you get this kind of rap as well. Um, yeah. And Which is not to say that we don't do similar things here in the states. Yes, like, for sure. You know, it's, it's not. A, it's not a the, unique the, the thing to Japan. The drug schedule. Holy <laughs> shit! The drug schedule is fucked. Like the fact that it is um, set and enforced by the same agency. Like you're not supposed to do that. That's uh, that's <laughs> yeah. one of that whole like judge jury kind of situations where you're not like judge jury and enforcer. They're not. You're never supposed to have any overlap. Like, and you know, <laughs> J and you know, Japan doesn't have a prison labor system, as far as I know. So yeah, uh, but, they, 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 so, so mm -hmm. we're we're definitely losing in that department. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we're not trying to like you know demonize anyone without calling out ourselves. Don't worry yeah, about yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Don't worry about uh, that. I, I, I just think it's an interesting, just, yeah. uh, an interesting mm -hmm. examination of the of the way this reflects. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Japanese society. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to clarify whole, it here because without that, this whole thing just does seem like you know Maya's question of like. You know, well, he got him, you know, uh, he got the innocent verdict, so why does it matter? It's like, well, a, a little more cultural context will show you exactly why it mattered. Anyway, mm -hmm. that was, that's, that's the little sidebar there. Yeah. Um, it, it, with, with, as far with, as I a, understand. With Ace Attorney being a, mm -hmm. a cultural parody of the Japanese law system, uh, there, are, there are a couple yeah. of things that will end up uh, getting lost in the localization. Yep. And things that, like, some of them will recognize or like know about and some of them we have probably skipped over entirely because yeah, yeah, like, like, like meanwhile everything. meanwhile here the the innocent mm -hmm. plea is a, actually or the uh, the the insanity plea is actually a mm -hmm. relatively good part of the law system mm -hmm. uh, it's not yeah, great and, well, cause, and we also it's... have like space for things like you know um like murder one murder two manslaughter you know like yeah yeah we have the different degrees murder, uh that, that yeah, like depend know, on like what? like the context and the intent and the planning goes into it and it does make some sense not all yeah. of it's entirely broken just <laughs> yes. you know a couple of really key parts yeah anyways <sighs> just the important bits you know <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> this has been uh cultural uh analysis corner uh, yep, this is a podcast with <laughs> Vampire Ian and uh, Jasper. <laughs> I, I want to do podcasts. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> that that could be our next project. <laughs> <the> podcast project. <laughs> huh?
Phoenix just listening to us like, what the fuck, you guys? Could you, could you guys shut the fuck up? Shut the fuck up and to... let the game happen? Like, I'm trying to get my friend declared innocent here. <laughs> You'll understand soon enough. Huh. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before. A long time ago. Whose handwriting was this? Oh. Do you have any idea who wrote this? Okay, so I do have to say two things about this. One, <laughs> these three options, one of them is coming entirely out of left field. Like, even with all the jokes that we've been making about it, like, <laughs> one of them is just like, wow, that's a leap, Phoenix. But also, why is it Grossberg that recognizes it and not Miles? <laughs> Like, why is Edgeworth not the one who looks at that and is like, yep, I've seen that about a million times before. I he never, lived he's never with looked the guy. At, never like, looked at his handwriting. Never <laughs> not once. once, I guess. Like, he was, no, you are not allowed to look at these documents. <laughs> I don't want you forging my signature. <laughs> my perfect signature. I don't want you, you making a mockery of it. <laughs> you little miscreant. <laughs> So, in case you hadn't figured it out, audience, who it is, uh, with all of our very subtle hints and uh, jokes. Well, uh, here, 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 for the audience at home who may not know, it literally can't be Edgeworth, and it literally can't be Yanni Yogi. So, yeah, yeah, think about it. <laughs> hmm. Could it be? But like for Phoenix, though, it's like he's yeah, just coming just out of like, nowhere. Hmm. This is another example of Phoenix's like spiritual power coming through, <laughs> just like. Gregory Edgeworth going by, it's like, Manfred von Karma! <laughs> like, you know, like, mm. in his ear. <laughs> Could it be Manfred von Karma? It does have perfect handwriting, and it is written perfectly. Yeah. Mm -mm. Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Uh, well, I'm not sure. There's a shot in the dark. Never mind. It was obviously just like a... Hmm. Von Karma. Von Karma. W wait! You're right, my boy. This is Von Karma's handwriting, I'm sure of it. I used to see it all the time on court reports. What? But, but that means... The one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred Von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? Why, indeed. If it truly was Von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth had his accidentally killed his own father. <gasps> Gasp. He'll say as much in tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no. Oh no. But how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. Hmm. That I do not know. Yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. What do you mean? It That's was 15 up. years ago. <laughs> oh. Von Karma met Ed Gregory Edgeworth in court and Von Karma did win. But okay, maybe we're not going to get the flashback right now. <laughs> Fine. He didn't make it through the trial unscarred. Okay, come on. What happened in the trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. How the fuck did you get a guilty verdict with faulty evidence? Like, how? Cool, cool justice system. Cool justice system. <laughs> faulty evidence? It was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. Vacation? M image just jumping into my head of Von Karma, like, on a beach, you know, like, tanning himself in one of those lounge chairs. He's got he's got a Hawaiian shirt on, but it still has a, a cravat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's got a fruity drink in his hand. Ah, uh, yes. Shorts. Now this is relaxation. Flip flops. Yes. 
perfect <laughs> relaxation. Perfect. <laughs> yes, an unusual event for the man. Now is the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? <laughs> is it just all accumulating all the vacation time? Yeah. <laughs> like, go to the sea or to the mountains? I guess that's how he was able to get several months at, a, <laughs> at one time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like he'd had so many days, like it never rolls, it always rolls over, it never like... <laughs> yeah, he just uh, got infinite rollover because yeah. he's a prosecutor. <laughs> yeah, I, now I am also having the image of once again, a, like going to the mountains, he's hiking, full on hiking gear, except he is still wearing the cravat. <laughs> <laughs> he's, With a little brooch he's in it. calling back to his German heritage and yodeling. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I think he taught Francisca how to yodel. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> but only only perfectly. Only perfectly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Von Karma is perfect in every way. You know, considering <laughs> Von Karma is like an older German guy, I wonder if he was part of the Von der Vogel movement. I do not know what that is. Uh, Are we going to so, have a history lesson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, here's a little history lesson. So the Von der Vogel movement was a was a uh, a movement in uh, Germany during the interwar period. I think it might have been a little bit before World War One as well, but during the interwar period when it was the biggest. Um, and it's a it's weird because uh, the Von der Vogel movement is actually a precursor to the Nazi Party, but also a precursor to the Communist Party of Germany. It's kind of a Wild. precursor to a lot of social movements in Germany. Okay. Um, but yeah, basically, it was just like a, a movement to return to nature. Uh, and it, it happens around the same time that the Boy Scouts are happening in America. So we're actually like in oh, Britain. Oh, so you know what? That does sound familiar, actually. That does yeah. sound like something that I've like, that's dredging up some like old AP Euro uh, brain <laughs> lore back from the day, high school days, you know? Yeah, it's a it's a fairly interesting movement. And like it, yeah. like I said, it, it it's like, you know, communist, anarchist, Nazis, they're all doing it. <laughs> yeah, everyone just wants to be in nature. It's uh, nature's for everyone, uh, except nature for the Nazis. Get the fuck out now. Get the it's fuck not for out. you anymore. You don't. You have lost your nature privileges. <laughs> don't tell me he's never been to your. Um, well, okay, no, he's from um, Germany. Uh, never mind. I huh? never mind. <laughs> you have strange ideas about vacations, Maya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? Hunk Karma is going to bring up the D up DL6. I was going to say the incident because I thought they were going to write that in, but then they <laughs> you know, fucked me over on that one. He's going to bring it up. You can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? You know he's gonna. I won't let him. Yeah, but he's gonna. But I won't let him. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know, and we will okay. kill him. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, just to get this straight, Mr. Crossberg, a third grader throws a pistol that accidentally goes off and shoots his father, and that's murder <laughs> under it, it, this system. It throws throws a pistol while deprived of oxygen, which in a previous case got ruled uh, innocent <laughs> by insanity. Yeah. <laughs> and that's murder. What the... And also, in, this and threw the pistol in the fence. Thing, this is also why we I was talking earlier about like murder one, murder two, manslaughter, etc. You know, mm -hmm. like this is why it's because otherwise you get shit like this. And then the second game, you get things like justified self-defense, but it's still murder and it will <laughs> still be treated as murder whenever anyone thinks about it. And thinks about Maya, justified self-defense, but murder. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, you're, you're just. There's no castle doctrine in uh, Japan. <laughs> I can't. I can't legally shoot anyone who runs on my property, uh, like like I can here in the good old U.S. of A. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you touch a blade of grass, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my assault weapon. <laughs> Some someone touched one of my blades of grass. They're gonna fucking burn for that shit. <laughs> 
Anyways, murder. <laughs> murder. I know that. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, know that. About murder. Hmm. I. I just believe in Edgeworth's innocence. Simple as. I can't believe he'd kill someone, even by accident. But but Nick, accidents happen. Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I don't care. I know he's not guilty. You are so fucking gay. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wright. If you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg. Thank you. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> There's a Star Wars reference. Is everyone happy now? I made a Star Wars reference. It's a good Star Wars reference. I mean, That's if true. you gotta reference something, reference Han Solo, <laughs> man. <laughs> Police materials. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yummy mm. police materials. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Speaking of police materials. Yeah. December 27th, police order in criminal affairs. Yeah. There's hardly anyone here. That guy is still here. Well, I, I said hardly anyone. <laughs> no one. Everyone must out be out. Let me try that again. Everyone must be out okay. looking for the old guy, Yogi. Good job. <laughs> Was that better, Maya? <laughs> yeah, you, you did good that time. That's okay. Good, good read. <laughs> hey, it's you. I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. Why's that? You stay in LA looking for someone. Oh. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real. He's just out there don't. with a hammer. <laughs> See, I was about to say, don't say he's masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, that's so rude. <laughs> um, we were wondering if we could check out the records room again. Well, now I can't have just anyone wandering around in there. But what about if it's just us? But I guess Mr. Von Karma's in there now anyway. Oh, that's good. I, Maya's be... face reflects my feelings on this. <laughs> it would be bad if Mr. Von Karma was in there. You can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma? Ah, fuck. Yeah, he just arrived, actually. Von Karma's in the records room. Von Karma's in the records room. Nick, <laughs> let's hurry! Von oh, Karma's in the record room. <laughs> I don't remember where I heard it first. Someone mentioned that, like, whenever they hear that, um, like, a friend of theirs came up with, like, the, uh, like, the words that go along with this. Mario's in the basement. Mario's in the basement. <laughs> it just fits so well. <laughs> See, I every every time I I hear something that fits into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, oh, yeah. that's where I that's what I you know have. Oh, we do it with um the Bill Wirt song "I'm Scared," which is like I'm scared, <laughs> and then it is immediately followed by this amazing bassline that's just like but you can but doom. So we'll just any like two word thing will be like you know like we'll see Rana and we'll be like that's cute, but you can dig them, you know. Like, <laughs> Rana is our dog, incidentally. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. yeah it's, December 27th, Police Department Records Room. And yes, I did make, try to make sure that Police Department Records Room did not fit the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's one syllable off. <laughs> it's one off. Oh, so annoying. Dusty as always. We were only here just yesterday. I'm sure they just haven't had time to clean. Hmm. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. Von Karma. Hmm. Hmm. There are shelves stuffed with case files in the back of the room, too. Forgotten cases, rotting away for eternity. Nick, let's get what we need and get out of here. I gotta look at all the dialogue. All this dust is getting to me. I sneeze. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh no, the seas went away. <laughs> Here are files of collected case reports. There's quite a large volume of reports here. Wow. These are all case reports? This city is filled with crime! Yeah, it's like a graveyard of police cases. 
guess my sister's case report is in here too. Quietly gathering dust. That was grim, Maya. <laughs> Sometimes I just gotta be grim. Huh? One of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking in it recently. The label says unsolved cases, evidence. Hmm. Unsolved cases. Nick! The file for deal six, it's completely empty! Wh what What are you doing in here? Ah! <laughs> Sorry, oh. real scream. I hate his front on sprite <laughs> so much. Look at that. <laughs> Look at him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Vodkarma. How are you doing? You! Me! How do you know my name? Huh? Have we met? <laughs> nope. What are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edgeworth's defense team? Don't tell him that. Defense team? <laughs> I beg your pardon. You see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. That's not very perfect of you. They are like bugs to me. Needless things to be crushed. His eyes are flat like a shark's in so <laughs> literal. Look at that! <laughs> ah! They're very piercing. Despite yeah. only being a dot in a circle. They're, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Some good character design there. I can see how this guy was Edris mentor. I don't want to talk to him. But we're gonna. And yet. Uh, um, Mr. Edgeworth is your student, right? <clears throat> A romanticist who still can't shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father. Always second rate. Mr. Von Karma. You had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory, Ed Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Gregory! <laughs> <laughs> Me? A grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record. Oh. <laughs> Who went there? So you did. But what I don't get is, why did you take his son on your wing afterwards? The son of your most bitter rival. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a defense attorney last this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Miles Edgeverse will admit his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean? Hmm. You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeverse will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. So Von Karma is going to bring up deal six in court tomorrow. You better ass I'm going to. <laughs> well, I guess we've talked all we can talk with him and we should just move on. Just get the fuck out of here. Just get I don't the think there's hell? anything else that we should do. Um, Just get the hell like, out of here while we still we don't can. Wanna take, don't want to take any rash action with this guy. Oh, but maybe we could show him the DL6 case file. Fool. We want to add a few more of those on there? <laughs> no, that's my daughter's thing. I won't take that from her. <laughs> you think I, a prosecutor, will give you a defense attorney information? Bah! Creep. Okay, well, mm. now we've definitely showed everything yeah. that we should show, and we should definitely move on yeah. and leave. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Like, oh, don't slip there, uh, dude. Whoa, that's uh, weird. Might... Oh, oh, I don't oh, know shit. what's happening. Hey, hey, no, <laughs> don't, don't slip and press the E key, man. Like, you, we gotta be careful <laughs> oh, here. Like, oh, God, okay. if we showed him this, he would probably do something really rash yeah. and yeah. dangerous. Your hands definitely aren't gonna, like, slip or anything, right? And just, oh, like, God! Accidentally... Oh, no! <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder and steal all the picnic baskets. 
Okay, I don't know what that last part is about, but... <laughs> Yanni Yogi. I do not watch your American cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. A foolish fool. <laughs> I told him to burn it after he read it. Huh? S so you admit it? You... you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter! Yes, my dear defense attorney. Actually, she's a spirit medium. I'm the defense attorney. Uh, yes, my dear spirit medium and defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You've saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? How could this possibly have happened? <laughs> Damn it, Ian. All because your finger slipped. And it's all because of that. Well, what is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> His face. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is this is it's the so best good. part of this case. It it's is, so funny. Truly. Well, actually, no, it's not the best part of this case. We're gonna get to the best part of this case. Yeah, but okay, yeah, I know. This I part know is really good. Part, but this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> A stun gun. For self-defense, usually. Indeed. 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. Why are, you, why are you putting so much volts of electricity in your electric fence, buddy? Because it's cool. 600,000? <clears throat> oh, don't worry. People don't die from it, usually. Let's... Okay. okay, everyone at home, how about you go ahead and look up the amount of fatalities that happen every year from uh, tasers uh, regarding police incidents. Go ahead and look that up for me and uh, ACAB. Mm -hmm. That's your homework. Now, give me the letter. No! N no! Whoa, what are you... <laughs> Maya! Out of my way! Ah! And now we're and dead. We both died. We lost. Game over. <laughs> Guilty! <That's it. laughs> uh, he got us. The letters. Gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence. All of it. Back to having no clues. Wait. Maya jumped first. Maya, is she okay? Hmm. Ma Maya! Maya, open your eyes. I've got ramen. Ramen? Ramen? Maya, I've got burger. Burger? <laughs> the letter. Did he take it? Yeah, I don't know why I thought the would show it to him. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that was stupid. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Are, are you okay? It's like worse than the time that you showed evidence to Red White and got punched. <laughs> yeah, I just stopped showing bad guys evidence, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. What, did you think you were just going to tank it? <laughs> I'm no good as a lawyer or a medium or a human shield. I can't even call my sister. Not even now. And we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. No, stay woke. <laughs> Maya! God <laughs> damn the, the damn anti-woke virus. Shit. Gotta get her vaccinated. Grr. There has to be some way I can help her. I better do something about her self-confidence first. Yeah, it's getting pretty bad. <laughs> hmm? Maya. She's holding something. What is that? A bullet? DL6 incident. Evidence number seven. Taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. Hmm. I remember. 
Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped him. You know, credit to Maya where it's due. Um, it, it being on the attack is usually a very good way to um, avoid taking a hit because usually the person who goes first gets to uh, land the hit first. Surprise, yeah. speed, violence of action. It's a whole thing, but it's special. She took the initiative. Yeah. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. So yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to know that you have to do that stupid thing, because it's a very stupid I, yeah, move. Yeah, it's so fucking stupid. I guess, like, you would exhaust all your other options, and then you would be like, well, I guess I haven't shown Von Karma my evidence. <laughs> I, don't know. I guess I haven't done the stupidest thing on the face of the planet. Yeah, so let's do that. I should do that first. <laughs> oh, final yeah. day. The final day. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> I really like Majora's Mask, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, ne next time it's going to be a hell of a banger of a episode. Oh, it's gonna, there's going to be birds. There's going to be <laughs> bullets. yelling. There's going to be bullets. There's going to be flashbacks, guys. So many fucking flashbacks. Oh, God, we're going to be flashback central. <laughs> yep. Flashback it's revolution. It's gonna get fucking nuts up in this bitch. It's gonna it's gonna be a hell of a time. Uh huh. And you're you're gonna see it right here on Vampirean. Dot YouTube. Dot com. Dot slash that Vampirean. Yeah. <laughs> that exactly. Exactly that. <laughs> Type that into your search bar. <laughs> Perfect. That's where we'll be. <laughs> it'll it'll be at, it'll be at Twitch. TV slash Vampirean. Dash YouTube. Dot com. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Why don't you like, share, subscribe, maybe ring the bell to get notifications? I also have Jasper here. Go, go follow Jasper. Where can we find you? Yeah. I'm uh, just getting started out in terms of all the streaming and YouTube stuff. Uh, but you can find me by looking up Mighty Nitty. Um, Mighty spelled the way you'd expect. Nitty, N-I-T-T-Y, over on Twitch and YouTube. Perfect. And you can Maybe find me... Maybe there'll be something there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope they go and check it out. And you can find me wherever I may roam. Vampire Ian, everywhere you know. You can also use my TCG Player affiliate link to get any single sale product or accessories, all while supporting the channel at the same time. Join the Patreon, do all the wonderful things, and I'll see you next time. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you. Bye!